The Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's Preps Plus is brought to you by Boston Store. Brands you love, quality and value you deserve. Buy, pick and save. New every day. By Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin. With three hospitals, over 25 locations and more than 2,000 doctors. Find one close to you. By Robert Hack Diamonds. Paying cash for gold, silver and diamonds at Robert Hack Diamonds. By Bryant and Stratton College. Have a calling to help others? A career in nursing could be right for you. Learn more about careers in healthcare at bryantstratton.edu. And by Menards. Save big money at Menards on all your home improvement needs. We're at the Prairie School in Racine where the Hawks girls basketball team took a perfect 24-0 record into the WIAA sectionals. Hi, I'm Lance Allen from today's TMJ4. And I'm Mark Stewart, prep editor of the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Tonight we've got action from the Boys State Basketball Tournament plus girls sectional final highlights. We start the show with an excellent hoops player who excels in the classroom and who will be taking our talents to the Big Ten. Mark, here's Brad Top Shelf Preter with our Boston Store featured student athlete. It's tough to sum up everything Lydia Rohde has done for Brookfield Central, but Coach Dan Wandry breaks it down well. And the easy answer is pretty much everything we've asked her to do. We ask her to defend, we ask her to score, we ask her to set up her teammates. So, uh, and then on top of all that, she's a great kid and a, and a really good leader, so that sets a really good tone for our team. Lydia is very humble about her ability, after four years on varsity, she feels her composure on the court might be her biggest contribution. I think just keeping a level head and making good decisions with the ball. Lydia's versatility is a big part of what's made her so valuable to the Lancers. Not only is she an outstanding shooter, but she also does a great job of creating scoring opportunities for her teammates. Rhodey will graduate as Central's all-time leader in both assists and three-pointers made. This season, she was shooting nearly 50% from beyond the arc. Amazing. Her shooting is, she's been shooting so well this season. It's always a good shot, and she takes good shots. A Greater Metro Conference Scholar Athlete Award winner, Lydia challenges herself with AP and honors courses. Classes that are tough but still enjoyable are the ones she finds the most rewarding. I mean, it's hard to do it if it's not fun. So as long as I'm having fun in the classes and they're still challenging, that's what I look for. Lydia is interested in becoming an attorney. She'll continue her education while playing hoops next season at Northwestern. She had a lot of schools to choose from and given the academic reputation that Northwestern has, she made the right choice, I think. Northwestern's gain will be Brookfield Central's loss next season. Lydia will certainly take good memories of her time playing basketball at Central. I think just my teammates, because I've had, I've been on like four different teams, but every year it's been fun because of the people I've been with. I've been playing with Lydia since like fourth, fifth grade, and she's just, she's just always been a really good teammate. She cares about everyone. She wants the best for everyone, and she cares about her team, and she's just always been dedicated. By the way, Lydia will be joined at Northwestern by Maya Jonas of Whitefish Bay, and they'll be teammates with former Nicol A standout, Alex Cohen. Now let's present Lydia with her award. Lydia, on behalf of Boston Store, I'd like to present you with the Preps Plus Student Athlete of the Week Award. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brandon Knight of the Milwaukee Bucks. Follow Preps Plus on Twitter, and you can also follow me at Brandon Knight 07. Now is the perfect time to finish your big projects with the Menards 11% sale. There's never been a better time to save on everything you need. Get an 11% rebate on lumber and steel roofing, an 11% rebate on patio and retaining wall block, 11% on ultra deck. Plus, don't forget paint, power tools, doors, and lighting. Menards has everything you need to create the home of your dreams. Hurry in. Sale ends March 22nd. Save big money at Menards. Nurses make a real difference in people's lives. Let Bryant and Stratton College make one in your life. Receive the personal career-focused education you need to earn your nursing degree in two years or less. Learn in industry current medical labs and get practical experience in an internship. Over 88% of our nursing students pass the NCLEX RN exam. 
Plus, you can start your nursing education as soon as next semester. So join the many Bryant and Stratton College nursing graduates working throughout Milwaukee. To get started, call or click today. Welcome back to the Prairie School and Racine on Preps Plus, the Journal Sentinels High School Sports Show. Lance, we're going to start our basketball highlights with a Division I state boys semifinal between two teams that know a little something about winning championships. Let's roll the Preps Plus highlights brought to you by Bryant and Stratton College. King and Germantown. These two heavyweights battled for the state title two years ago. Tonight, it's a state semifinal as Germantown continues their march to a three-peat. Unlike the last two years, this season was not perfect for the Warhawks. They dealt with player suspensions and actually lost a couple games, but they were at the top of their game from the outset in this one. Evan Wiesenberg was dominant inside. Here's two of his game-high 25 points. Then it's Lamonte Bearden with the acrobatic reverse. Hawks are rolling up by eight after one. The Generals were down big in both sectional wins, and they hang tough here for a while. Jamel Posey with the drive in traffic, King within six, but Bearden answers. Here he splits the King defense for the deuce, 35-23 G-Town at the break. And in the second half, the Warhawks simply run away. Jake Showalter is wide open in the corner for one of his four three-pointers. Later, it's Bearden with the breakaway and a little showtime. Lamonte had 17 as the two-time defending champs punch their ticket to the final with a resounding 77 to 60 win. We've grown as people. We've, we've come together as a team. Um, we've come, to, come together as a family and we've grown together. And the things that uh, we're accomplishing now, um, it's pretty special to me. You know, it's one of them games, you know, two years in a row we didn't play well, but it is what it is. We still ended on the Cole Center and um, it was a remarkable run. Championship Saturday is a familiar date for Whitefish Bay Dominican. The Knights were looking for their third consecutive state title and their experience showed early. Senior Jack Jelasic drills this three-pointer and the Knights were off and running against Blair Taylor. Then the big guy Diamond Stone gets in the act. Here he muscles inside for two of his game high 28, Dominican up a dozen. But the underdog Wildcat showed some fight. Simeon Pooler from downtown as he cuts the Bay lead to just a bucket. But the Knights close the first half strong. Taiwan Bressler caps the break with this lay-in. Dominican up 36-28 at the break. And the third quarter was all Knights. First, it's Jelasic taking the behind-the-back feed from Austin Mautry for the deuce. Then it's time for Diamond to shine. Here's a nice spin move on the baseline. Then he flashes some D as he swats away this shot. Stone with eight blocks and 11 boards. It all adds up to another state crown for Dominican as they complete the three-peat with a dominating 74 to 50 win. Dominican history and tradition, and there's a lot of teams in Dominican who have back-to-back -back state championships. And, and now for us to get three kind of separates us. A lot of people were surprised by Brown Deer's run to state, but the Falcons themselves were not. And that confidence showed as they battled Lodi for the D3 title. Devontae Jackson with the follow slam. Then off the steal, Lorenzo Byers with nothing but net on this three ball. 21-19 Brown Deer at half. But the Blue Devils rally in the third. D1 recruit Jordan Shea with a nice move inside. Lodi grabs a one point lead. But with the school's first state title on the line, the Falcons fly high. They go on an 18-0 run to put this one on ice. First, it's Zach Bond baseline for the monster slam. Then it's Donovan Lucas with the pretty drive through traffic. Finally, it's Jerry Luckett with the gimme off a great feed from Byers. The Falcons with an impressive 59-37 win, and the first gold ball is heading to Brown Deer High. This state title means everything to me. We could have had it last year, but we fell short. 
I just love my, my teammates this year. We worked hard. It just feels great. All the hard work paid off, and uh, our team came together. We worked together, and we just pulled it out, and I'm just, just amazed. The first day of practice on Monday after we had made the sectionals, uh, I went into practice and I told these guys, we're still not satisfied. We aren't satisfied. They're, we're still unranked. We're still not getting the respect. We're in the state and we're going to go make the send a message. Mark, the state tourney is certainly the pinnacle of the high school basketball season. That's why we're going to take you back to the Cole Center for the Menards Game of the Week. from the Milwaukee area made it to the championship game in four of the five divisions here at the Kohl Center after Dominican and Brown Deer wrapped up their titles Wisconsin Lutheran and finally Germantown would try to do the same Vikings fans were hoping to see their team improve upon last season's state runner-up finish they'd have to contain Rice Lake's highly recruited 6'10 junior Henry Ellenson who not only grabbed 10 rebounds and blocked four shots in the first half but also scored 13 of the Warriors' 18 first-half points. Ellenson scored 21 on the night, about seven below his average. Despite Ellenson's efforts, the Vikings would play from out front. Dez Cockroft nails the three-pointer, and Wisco is up six. Then the Vikings get out on the run. Cockroft, nice pass to Jamare Griffin. It's a 10-point lead, forcing Rice Lake to take a timeout. That lead would be 10 at the half. And the Vikings extend the advantage as soon as they return from the locker room. Anthony Carver's jumper completes an 8-0 run to start the quarter, and the Vikings are up by 18. Rice Lake tries to claw its way back in, but check out Keith Franklin, letting the defenders slide by and then burying the three. The Vikings all but put this one away in the third quarter. Milton Cummings knocks down a three-pointer, and Wisco rolls to the 61-46 victory. The Vikings finish the season with a 26-2 record, and this time around, they bring home the gold ball. No matter how much we progressed in the playoffs, we um, wasn't going to be happy until we won that gold ball. I'm just really proud of the way our boys handled themselves, the defense they played, the energy they put into the game, the way they bought into it, the determination that they had. And, um, you know, every loose ball we fought for, every rebound we fought for, it was all those little things. Our end goal was state every game. It was five keys to get to state. The top one was be determined every game. Now for the grand finale of the boys' high school season, Germantown going after its third consecutive title belt, facing a 26-1 Nina squad. Check out Brian Bearden changing his shot, two plus the foul. Germantown leads by seven at the half. Give it up for the G-Town student section, showing both true colors, well-coordinated wardrobe change, scrappy play here by one of the Warhawks' big men, John Averkamp with the offensive board and putback. The lead is six, but Nina would make a run. The Rockets tie the game late in the third, courtesy of this jumper by Matt Helt. Germantown goes back on top when Lamonte Bearden goes to the hole and finishes with some flair. Nina trying to tie it up again. Closing seconds of the quarter, but Evan Wiesenberg blocks the shot. Lamonte Bearden gets it ahead to Jake Showalter, who beats the buzzer. Warhawks by four, headed to the fourth. That lead would go to eight, but Nina chips away. Trevor Entwistle steps back and drills the three. It's a three-point game with 18 seconds left. But Showalter hits two free throws to ice a 48-42 victory. The three-peat is complete giving Germantown a place in state basketball history. I couldn't have dreamed when we when we started this program years ago that we'd, we'd get to the point where people are talking about us as possibly the best team that's ever played in, in Wisconsin. It's sort of bittersweet, I didn't want it to end, but you know, there's no better way to end it than with the state title. Sort of coming out to the game, it didn't even feel like a state championship game, it just felt like another game to us, and you know, we play uh, every game with the same mentality, so. It was fun to go out here and just play and win. Congratulations to all the local teams that made it to Madison this season. Coming up, Mark, we'll see if some girls' teams can make it back to Title Town. And we'll be right back as well. Good timing is a tricky business. A bell doesn't ring when the fruit is ripe. At Pick and Save, time equals freshness. You can taste it in the produce we source, the beef we grind fresh in our stores, 
and in the products we bake daily. Getting the timing right. Every minute, every hour, every meal. Pick and save. New every day. Who do you trust when selling your gold, silver, and diamonds? Robert Hack Diamonds was secret shop by the media, and they found out that Robert Hack Diamonds offer the most for their jewelry. At Robert Hack Diamonds, we'll treat you like family. Shop around before you sell. If we can't compete a competitor's offer on your scrap gold, we'll give you $20 just for trying. Bring your gold out and get you some money. Robert Hack Diamonds is located at 76 and Layton in Greenfield and our newest location on the corner of Green Tree and Port Washington Road in Glendale. What would make your doctor, your everyday doctor, an extraordinary everyday doctor? Well, if they're part of Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin's Health Network, that's exactly what they'd be. Why? Because your doctor would be connected to the region's only academic medical center, and so would you. Renowned specialists, more treatment options only academic medicine can offer. We have over 200 primary care doctors in more than 20 locations, so there's bound to be one close. Call to find the right doctor for you. Brandon Knight earned all kinds of accolades as a high school basketball star. In fact, he scored more than 3,500 points in his career. The Milwaukee Bucks guard is our guest. His Pick and Save presents From Preps to Pros. I don't like to make mistakes, so uh, I try to, you know, limit my mistakes. Uh, try not to think about it too much. I like to perfect my craft and I, I try to perfect what I do. Brandon Knight put up remarkable numbers in high school basketball, finishing second on Florida's all-time scoring list. His accolades extended to the classroom with a 4.3 grade point average. Knight simply strives for perfection regardless of the setting. I studied my butt off and uh, I, I, you know, I tried to make sure I paid attention in class as much as possible and uh, you know, I did my best to you know, get as high as GPA as I could. Knight had to overcome injuries like a broken foot and a broken collarbone, but those proved to be only temporary setbacks. Whenever you get an injury that, that sidelines you for a couple months, you know, it can be kind of uh, kind of discouraging, you know, because you want to play so much, you want to continue to grow, you want to continue to get better. Knight says he writes down his goals and looks at them every day so they're always in his mind. Whatever you put your mind to, every day try to take a, take a step towards getting better at it, whether it be ball handling, shooting, or maybe something off the court. If you want to get better at it, each day do something to make progress uh, towards that goal. Brandon's inspiration comes from his dad, a railroad worker who put in long hours and often sacrificed sleep so he could take Brandon to games and practices. For me as a kid seeing that, I had no excuses. I had a parent that was setting an example, paving the way, and uh, working hard to make sure I had the things that I needed. So he set the example for me on what hard work really was, and I kind of pride myself on that today. The girls basketball team at Kettle Moraine Lutheran topped 20 victories for the third straight season, but the Chargers were hoping for a breakthrough in the tournament. April Boblin presents the Robert Hack Diamonds Team of the Week. Hard work is what most teams will say practice is, but the Kettle Moraine Lutheran girls basketball team takes that idea to a whole nother level, treating each practice like a game with the same intensity and competitive nature. Typical practice is very intense, you know, everybody comes to practice every day just ready to work. Our practices are really competitive, I mean, we get after each other to make ourselves better, and I mean, we're working really hard and banging on each other and pushing each other around, but honestly, it's so much fun to be able to compete that hard in practice and then kind of pick on the girl after, you know, we just have a lot of fun in pretty much every aspect of the game. We try and have uh, competitive drills where we're challenged, and, and I think it's important that the girls learn how to compete. Uh, against each other and what this group has done a nice job of is, is competing against each other and then when we're outside the lines then the competitiveness is, is turned into friendship. It's that friendship that has allowed these girls to play as hard as they do and be as successful as they have been. It's so fun every day you don't get sick of coming to practice you don't sick of 
being around them, you know, and it's just off. It's so much fun this year. I can't even begin to describe how fun it is this year. The basketball season is such a long season that if, if you're not having fun along the way, it gets tremendously long. And then the effort isn't, isn't what it needs to be. The Chargers only had one loss in the regular season to an undefeated team. It's something they haven't wanted to experience since, propelling them into the postseason. We took so much out of that loss. And, you know, it was a big game for us because what we took out of there was more important than sometimes what you can take out of a win. So it was good for us to kind of taste defeat. And now I think that got us hungrier to win more games as we went along the season. The game plan going forward is I don't think really has changed from day one. It's just to work hard and, you know, treat every day like it's your last. And, get after each other and get after it and hopefully with them we'll be holding up that gold ball. Congratulations Kettle Moraine Lutheran girls on being the Robert Hack Diamonds Team of the Week. There's more to come on Preps Plus. We've got girls playoff highlights on the way. I went to a community college uh, for about a year and it didn't work with my schedule. I couldn't finish the program. Uh, I had a few friends that uh, said they love their job as a paralegal and at Bryant Stratton College. Had a wonderful program. It's changed everything. Career services at Bryant Stratton um, really were invested in me as a person. They made sure that I graduated with a job. Now I have a future financially and personally. I'm doing exactly what I want to be doing. For every product, there's a window of opportunity. The right time to catch it, Cut it, pick it, and bake it. At Pick and Save, that's why we continuously stock and prepare fresh foods in our stores daily, getting the timing right. Every minute, every hour, every meal. Pick and Save, new every day. Who do you trust when buying your jewelry? Brad Yilbert here, and I can tell you at Robert Hack Diamonds, we will treat you fair and like family. We have thousands of diamonds in stock, thousands of pieces of jewelry, and prices from under $50 to over $50,000. Come to Robert Hack Diamonds for a relaxed and enjoyable jewelry buying experience. Shop around before you buy. Robert Hack Diamonds is located at 76 in Layton and Greenfield, and our new location on the corner of Green Tree and Port Washington Road in Glendale. Come to Robert Hack Diamonds. Imagine you're diagnosed with something serious. How far would you go to find the best treatments? The best doctors? A hundred miles? A thousand? How about right in your neighborhood? With Freighterd and the Medical College of Wisconsin's Health Network, renowned physicians and breakthrough treatments are practically outside your door. Three hospitals, over 25 locations, and more than 2,000 doctors all connected to the region's only academic medical center. Now what is possible is closer than ever. Call to find the right doctor for you. Now is the perfect time to finish your big projects with the Menards 11% sale. There's never been a better time to save on everything you need. Get an 11% rebate on lumber and steel roofing. An 11% rebate on patio and retaining wall block. 11% on ultra deck. Plus, don't forget paint, power tools, doors, and lighting. Menards has everything you need to create the home of your dreams. Hurry in. Sale ends March 22nd. Save big money at Menards. Did you know approximately half of youth pitchers report some level of elbow or shoulder pain at least once during the season? Joining us is Dr. William Roche, orthopedic surgeon, director of sports medicine at the Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin Sports Medicine Center, and team physician for the Milwaukee Brewers. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. There are a lot of all-stars out there and wannabe all-stars out there among the little leaguers. Tell us what are some of the biggest mistakes you see for kids who are throwing? Probably for the young kids, it's just throwing too much. Uh, shoulder, elbow, we're never designed to throw baseball is the way we do today mm -hmm. and you can you can create overuse injuries so just backing off on the number of pitches they throw oftentimes takes care of the problem. Let's talk about treatment. What are some things they can do if they are injured? Well first off you stop the throwing and that doesn't mean stopping uh, baseball altogether but maybe going to first base or just swinging the bat. If that doesn't work then there's physical therapy to strengthen the shoulder and strengthen the elbow. Finally uh, you can do motion analysis to see what they're doing wrong or surgery if you can't make them better with those things. All right Dr. Roche thanks so much for being with us. My pleasure. To learn more about the Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin Sports Medicine Center, visit freighter.com slash sports.
We jammed lots of boys hoops highlights into the show earlier, but Lance, we can't forget about the girls playoffs. That's right, Matt Queen has the sectional final showdown in the Preps Plus Spotlight. The spotlight shining on girls hoops and the Division One sectional finals here at West Dallas Central High School is Oak Creek and Brookfield Central battling for a berth in the state tournament. Brookfield Central getting past DSHA to make it to this game, hoping to get to state for the first time since 09. Meanwhile, Oak Creek is winners of 14 straight games, including a win at Brookfield Central just two and a half weeks ago. This group of Knights has played in sectional finals before, but it has yet to break through and win. So Hannah Settingsguard set the tempo early with her pair of threes, a 10-0 start for Oak Creek. Second quarter, the Lancers finally find their legs. Nicole Hines on the drive and the foul. Brookfield Central trails by seven at halftime. Third quarter, another run from Oak Creek. Jenna Santi hits from downtown. It's 28-14 Knights. Lancers coach Dan Wandry encouraging his kids to keep playing and Caroline Bush, a freshman, steps up and cans a couple threes. 30 to 22, Brookfield Central right there. But in the fourth, Oak Creek pulls away. Steph Kostowitz to the 10, she had 15 points. Tamaya Sims adds 12 more as Oak Creek punches their ticket to the Rush Center in Green Bay. The Knights win 46-25, Oak Creek going back to state for the first time since 2008. We got disappointed last year. That disappointment had fueled us to be where we are today, and we're not just happy that we made it to state. We're here to win it all. Just the way they carry themselves, their body language, you could tell they were ready today. We ended up there, now we gotta go finish some business and be humongous for our community and for our school, and then most importantly for our kids. Thanks for joining us this week, and congratulations to the Prairie School for an outstanding season. Next week, we'll have highlights of the girls' state basketball tournament from the Rest Center in Green Bay. Till then, I'm Lance Allen. And I'm Mark Stewart. See you next week on Preps Plus. Hawks at three! One, two, three! Hawks! The Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's Preps Plus is brought to you by Boston Store. Brands you love, quality and value you deserve. Buy, pick and save. New every day. By Frederick and the Medical College of Wisconsin with three hospitals, over 25 locations, and more than 2,000 doctors. Find one close to you. Buy Robert Hack Diamonds, paying cash for gold, silver, and diamonds at Robert Hack Diamonds. Buy Bryant and Stratton College. Have a calling to help others? A career in nursing could be right for you. Learn more about careers in healthcare at bryantstratton.edu. And buy Menards. Save big money at Menards on all your home improvement needs.